types of these equations okay so which general types of these equations general types of general equations so what do you mean by general types just now we have learned two types already that is ax plus b is equal to cx plus d that is a simple linear equation then we have learned a, x plus a x plus b is equal to x plus c x plus d now it can be like that also the one type is ax plus b upon cx plus d and that is equal to p upon q p and q are all constants then how you will find out the value for x here see to find a single line value of x here i will give you the formula for pd minus bq here what happens the b d and p q are constant terms and when you will cross multiply it because to make it simple you have to make the cross multiplication <coughs> and then of course q will go to a and so it will be a q minus c p so generally this if this type of equation is there the coefficients of x are different you can go cross multiplying p d and b q then cross multiplying a q and c p for the numerator and denominator see this is a very simple type so we will not discuss something more about it but again the next type is also very simple we will see where we can use the different types of sutras of our vedic maths okay see here suppose it is m upon x plus a plus n upon x plus b and that comes to equal to 0 now there are some types of equations their right hand side is equal to 0 here also what we can do is we can cross multiply m x plus m b and then n x plus n a so taking x common we can have the value of x as directly you can read because you want to transpose here and so it will be minus m b minus n a upon here you want to m b and n a and then the m plus n so here this is our general formula for the solution of this i can extend this type of equations to any number of terms okay but one term is very important because what happens when you do the sum like this see suppose i have taken that m again this i will extend to m upon x plus a then n upon x plus b and then I will take P upon X plus C. I have extended it to one more term. And just see what happens to this term. As general we have learned how to find the value for it. That is we will take a LCM of this. Then I will multiply M by other two that is X plus B and X plus C. Similarly N to x plus a and x plus c and then p to x plus a and x plus b and it will equal to 0 because whatever LCM is there when you multiply that LCM with 0 it will be 0 only but now I want to multiply, multiply these three uh, numbers that is one is constant and the two contains x so what will I do m into when I will multiply this, it will be x square plus b plus c into x and plus b c. Because the formula you know how to multiply it. Then n into x square plus a plus c into x and plus a c. Then p into again x square plus a plus b into x plus a b is equal to 0 then here comes our next step that is again we want to collect x square terms then x terms and then the single terms so how we are going to collect them see first I want to multiply them as m x square this is one square term plus 
BC, uh, I will multiply BM plus CM then X plus MBC. So I have multiplied each term to M. Then again NX square. Then I will multiply NAX plus NA sorry NCX plus NAC and then again PX square plus APX plus PBX plus APB is equal to 0. See how long it is. It is taking such a long that when I will collect this x square, how many terms will be there in this? That is mx square, nx square and px square. So there will be m plus n plus p. And I know here it is m plus n plus p. And then when I will collect the x terms, then that will be bm plus cm plus na plus nc plus ap plus pb that is i can say m into b plus c n into b plus c like that also and the single terms are mbc plus nac plus apb is equal to zero this is a very long and tedious method. So what I say is that I am explaining you how long it is and how long, how what a long time also it will take. So I will take a formula now that x is equal to because you know now this is this will be a quadratic if m plus n plus p is not equal to zero. If this is equal to zero then x square term will eliminate and there will be only m term and so it will go to minus m b c minus n c a minus p a b this all single terms will go on the right hand side and i will have this answer m c into b plus c these two then n into a plus c these two and then p into a plus b. So this is my formula. But if I will write again one more important corollary that if m plus n plus p is equal to 0 then what happens? Then it will be a quadratic equation and when it is a quadratic equation you will need two values for x and that you cannot subtract it or you cannot find it like this. So it will require a, another method. Uh, we will do that method when we are dealing with the quadratic equations. That is also one of the type of the equations.